I'm Hazel Lumantau and my topic is all about assumptions and the guidelines in writing assumptions. The outline of the topic will be the introduction, the definition and importance of assumption, the difference between assumption and hypothesis, the guidelines in making assumptions, and finally the summary. The next one will be the learning outcomes. After your discussion, you will be able to define what is an assumption, to know what the importance of assumption, to differentiate the assumption and hypothesis, to learn and use properly the guidelines in the use of the basic assumption. So the, for the introduction, nowadays we commonly hear the term assumera para assume and stuff like that because it says here that assumptions are the things that you preliminary consider being true without checking whether they are true or not. So the assumptions are just our own beliefs for something to be true even though the evidence is very little or absent. So we can define the assumption as self-evident truth, which is based upon a known fact or a phenomenon. So self-evident truth, just like what I've said before, it's just uh, you. It is something that you only believe. Uh, the next one will be the you presume to uh, presume to be true statements of facts related to the research problem. And the final definition will be the statement of research behavior of facts, but cannot be ver verified. Even though that we have this kind of definition of assumption, assumption has its own importance when making a research problem. Because, uh, because assumptions are so basic that without them, the research problem itself couldn't exist. Without assumptions, we have no problem, and of course, we have no experiment and no research. And the next topic will be the difference between assumption and hypothesis. It says here that all assumptions are vague, optimistic, and untestable. Meanwhile, hypotheses are relatively specific and we can easily see how to design an, an experiment to get the data that could disapprove or approve a hypothesis or the theories. So, all assumptions are something you believe. Meanwhile, hypothesis is the prediction of something you believe. So the next one will be the guidelines in writing assumptions. The first one will is you can assume the value of your study because you can assume the value because of the so-called significance of the study. It is worth studying for, or what is the significance of the study based on your assumptions. The next one will be you can assume the reliability of the instrument you propose to use in your research. You can use the validity of the basic data. You can assume the population is typical because this three will be paid. This three is based on how how you do your research or the methodology of the of the study. The last one will be an assumption is not tested, neither it is defended nor argued. So in a nutshell, an assumption refers to, like, to a belief without assumptions. We have no problem, no experiment, and no research. Meanwhile, hypotheses are testable and verifiable, thus confer confirm and disconfirm theory or theories. We also need to consider the limitation and the limitation when making an assumption. To make an acceptab acceptable assumption, we need to follow the guidelines when writing an assumption. Thank you. That's all.